Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco. I'm Chris. And today we got another pretty good stack to show off today. Uh, I got some figures to show off for tonight's stream. We're going to be opening up some figures and building a Gundam that we didn't get to a couple weeks ago. Last, last week? week. Was it like, God, it's been a long week. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to go ahead and I uh, got a couple non new books to show you. So starting off here with a poster. Um, we were digging around through our posters at work and picked up the Godzilla vs. Power Rangers poster, which is pretty fun. Yeah. Um, as well as, I'll just put that there, I guess, picked up um, Moon Knight number 32, which is a, kind of a, a two in one for us. So it's a Moon Knight cover we always enjoy, but also an Art Adams cover. So, uh, pretty sweet looking. I really like his cape and everything on this one. Um, and yeah, so that's it for other little pickups. We have some figures we'll show off here in a little bit. But let's go ahead and get into the new comics of the week. Starting with Avengers Forever, number 11, with this super, super rad cover of the All Rider, correct, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Although, uh, spoiler alert, it don't look like that in the book. Aww. Yeah. There's a cool I was just hoping he was just a white void. <laughs> with There's a, a cool feet in there that he does. Yeah. That I'll show you that I just remembered. Yeah. Um, Super red but, cover. Really, really like that one. Uh, much like every other, other person's book has been about finding themselves, this one has kind of been about Robbie finding himself. All right. Uh, pretty good? Yeah, I liked it a lot. All right. Well, moving on to Doctor Strange, Fall Sunrise number one. And I like this. I don't know what cover or what who who did this one, but this is the B cover. Pretty cool. Like this one a lot. Um, and then we also picked up the Momoko variant, which I really really like. I think it's a yeah. super sweet cover. Uh, and this yeah, this was definitely very interesting. So the interior artwork, which we didn't pick up the A cover, just because I heard it had so many books. Um, the interior artwork is uh, done by Trad Moore, and uh, Trad Moore is a bit of a divisive art artist. Some people really like his stuff, and some I like people don't. That panel right I was there trying to figure out where, like, yeah, that is a really cool one. Um, I'll just show this one. Um, so yeah, there's an example of of his artwork, and uh, for me, I'll always hold kind of a special place. In my heart for Trad Moore, um, you know he was the artist that first drew um, Robbie Reyes, mm. and uh, has some pretty cool art there. Uh, he did Silver Surfer Black, which uh, was an awesome read and super, um, super kind. I don't want to say trippy because like I, I th feel like a lot of people look at his art and be like, oh, it's trippy art, but like it's not just like. Wow, man, crazy things are happening, you know, like, it's trippy in a tasteful way, if that yeah. makes sense. Um, but, uh, yeah, I really like Sur Silver Surfer Black. Um, a little while back, he did the 1 in 25 variant for Hulk 3. I really enjoyed that. And uh, I was pretty excited for this. And the, uh, so he's writing and drawing it. The story, I thought, was pretty awesome. Um, very kind of ethereal not really like a direct n not super easy like to, to follow it as it felt like a poem yeah the whole time but also like a story yeah it was it was super cool and, and, and definitely very different and uh yeah i really enjoyed it and i can't wait to uh, you know see more and so yeah um we recommend it um Moving on to Midnight Suns number three. Awesome uh, Nakayama cover there. Uh, I think he's done all three of them, I'm pretty sure, so far. And uh, pretty cool story. I've uh, been really enjoying this one. Um, cool little twist at the end. And nice little uh, kind of generic uh, group shot that has a cool upgrade about them. Uh, something pretty neat happens in this issue. And uh, kind of just piecing... Some more uh, parts of the puzzle together. And yeah, been enjoying Midnight Sun so far. And then we got the Momoko variant for All Out Avengers number three. 
Uh, but Chris, you did not read this one, nope. correct? So yeah, behind on that one, but pretty cool cover. And then another one we're both behind on is Daredevil number five. Um, I still, yeah, well, I've only read the first issue, I'm pretty sure, and then I got behind. But I, I do want to read it, because Zdarsky is awesome. So, uh, yeah, I, I need to get caught up on that for sure. Uh, this one I picked up uh, kind of as a cool cover. Also, I, I guess, you know, a little bit of spec, but it's uh, Spider-Man 14. Uh, it is, uh, I don't know what cover this is. This is the uh, C cover. It is uh, one of the McGinnis variants. Um, and anyway, so this is a new character. I'm pretty sure this is her first issue. I honestly didn't look into it too much. Regardless, I like this cover. Thought it was pretty cool. Um, and then also picked up the facsimile for Fantastic Four 52. Uh, this is a book I've talked about on the channel a few times about how it's a cool book. The real book, you know, uh, I'd l like to get the real book, but uh, it's kind of at its price point. Other books just kind of beat it out as far as my personal interest. Now, it does seem like after the movie, um, maybe some of the price points are kind of chilling out a little bit. Uh, so maybe at some point I will will be able to add that to my collection. It is a really sweet one. But for now, I have the facsimile. And that's it for the Marvel. Moving on to... Oh, no. I lied. I forgot. We have... Uh, this is from maybe a couple weeks ago or something. It's Moon Knight uh, 17. And uh, really, really awesome read. Was it just from last week? It might have been last week. I can't remember. I don't know. Um, but anyway, really, really awesome read. Um, and we just missed out on this variant had to order another one. So we got that one in. And uh, this is uh, the extreme variant. So. Yep. And then that's it for the Marvel. And then also, uh, yeah. I did want to mention, uh, you know, sorry for any slowdown of... of uh, release you know videos being released on the channel here um we've both been a little under the weather and i've been sleeping a lot more than normal uh but yeah i got some uh some things i want to talk about some things i want to do and um yeah and then there was no stream last week really didn't you know wasn't feeling super well last week um uh, but then this week there will be a stream tonight um i guess we'll go ahead and show it so we showed this Gundam off already. So this is Zaku 2 Red Char Comet. Zaku. And uh, so we built one model last week. Or no, week before, sorry. And then we will be building this one uh, this week. And while Chris is working on that, I'll be opening up some figures. So we opened up one already. A little stray from tradition. But um, we have He Who Remains here. Comes with an apple. Um... But we opened them up because we had to know, because this set has been selling pretty well at our shop, and Chris wanted to test a theory in which, if the theory prevailed, we needed to buy two of him in order to get an extra head of Khonshu, because we are very excited to build the Khonshu Build-A-Figure, which, by the way, this head looks great if it would yeah. focus. Where's the focus spot? Oh, there we go. It's a super awesome-looking head sculpt. And the theory was to see if it would fit on the white suit body of Mr. Knight. Yeah. And Which then, technically it does. But it's it, just it, big. It's not it great. Big. Yeah. Um, so anyway, because at the end of uh, Moon Knight, we got to see a suit body. And he's been like that in the comics, too. And it would have been super, super cool, but uh, the head is too big, which is good news and bad news. Bad news, obviously, because it doesn't work out how we wanted. Good news, because I think it's going to be a pretty good size build a figure. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be pretty sweet. So, we opened up that one, but we got some other cool ones to open up tomorrow, or tonight. Um, we have Classic Loki, which uh, is going to be pretty cool. That one I thought they did a really good job on. The only thing they could have done a little bit better was make him like a little dingier, I think. Yeah. And then we have, uh, from What If, we have uh, Howard the Duck and Scott Lang's uh, head. Futurama style. And then we have Zombie Scarlet Witch. It's a pretty cool one. Yeah. And we have Zombie Iron Man. 
Lots of zombies in here. Is it just a reuse of an Iron Man body? Yep. Yeah. No? No. He's got a little bit of a broken armor right yeah. there and on his leg. And I don't know if anywhere else. Um, wasn't there another zombie? Is that the only one? Only two, I mean? Yeah. We got Jimmy Woo. I guess I'm just thinking that Captain America zombie from a different wave. Yeah. And a bit of a crime that he doesn't come with punching hands because, I mean, that's kind of kind of his thing. And the last one is Red Skull from the What If series. Yeah, so we're going to open all those up tonight. Same, uh, what we always do, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, like I said, we're going to build that Gundam. And yeah, just hang out. And might, maybe might be a bit of a shorter stream. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on how I'm feeling. I'm still... Depends on how long it takes me to build a Gundam. Yeah, I'm still uh, not feeling 100%. Uh-oh. Careful about that. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go ahead. We got lots more books to talk about. Uh, so we have Yoda number one. Uh, picked up, I think it's the B cover. Yeah. Now, this one I actually didn't read. Um, I didn't get around to it. I did. I liked it. It was fun. <laughs> that all you got? Uh, I don't know what time period this is. It's a completely different council. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess... He is, uh, the grandmaster of the council. Yeah. I wonder, uh... Yeah, because you could definitely tie into, like, some High Republic stuff or whatever. So, he told me earlier... Uh, this is kind of like that Obi Wan series where I think it's gonna be. Well, yeah, because um, it starts off Yoda and hiding on Dagobah, and then he starts telling a story. Yeah, so probably what they're gonna do. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's lots of years you could go through uh, with that. So um, also picked up Star Wars Revelations. I'm pretty sure this is a one shot. Picked up the Momoko variant. Of Dr. Affer here. Pretty cool cover like that one. Quite a bit. Neither one of us read this one. Um, I think this is multiple stories too, right? That, I don't know. I didn't read that one. Oh, that's a pretty sick Vader art. Anyway. Cool cover nonetheless. There's also a really cool Vader cover that I was kind of tempted on. It was a Hitch cover, which is kind of wild. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty sweet. I think it was cool on accident. <laughs> And then we have Alien number three, yeah, a we're series. Off Star Wars and on to... Oh yeah. Um, so I still haven't started this new series yet, and I really want to. Uh, need to go through. I'm pretty close to bagging and boarding all my books. Um, I'm getting there. Uh, I'm almost done. Next comes organizing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, been been slowly moving through it. Uh, and then just a single DC this week. Uh, so we have Sergeant Rock versus the Army of Darkness. Which I didn't read because I'm tired. Number three. And yeah, that's all we got for it. He did read it, so. And this non-book I'm reading. Then we have a big stack of uh, indie books this week. It's weird, sometimes uh, we don't have like any, and then this week they all come out. I think I only read one indie book. So we have Vanish number three, which was super, super awesome. I really, really like this one. Um... It really feels like we're following... It's kind of a cool trajectory. I don't want to really spoil anything. There's not too much I can spoil yet. We're only three issues in. But it it feels like this like uh, prophetic hero was set up. And then he's, we're really watching him like descent into being a villain, maybe? We also don't know... like. Like the the full sides of everybody. Like there's seems to be some villains that are maybe trying to be good, but are they trying to be good? And I don't know. Um, but also just the way that he's approaching it seems very very dark. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm 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 really liking the series. I can't wait for more to come out. Um, and yeah, it's nice and gruesome and has some you know awesome Stegman art and. Very, very cool. And up next we have Hitomi number two. Uh, this A cover is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love this one. Um, and as far as the story goes, um, I thought it was good. There, There's certain parts in how a comic, it feels like, 
sometimes it feels like we're missing panels. Like it just jumps to something very different, very fast. And it's like, I could have used a, a couple of transition panels there in this issue. But uh, other than that, I mean, I, I did like it. I'm enjoying it. It's not top of my list or nothing, but uh, excuse me, my nose is still very stuffy. But I am enjoying it. Um, and then we have the finale to Dark Space's Wildfire here. So issue number five. Um, and it's been a pretty good ride. I've really enjoyed this one. Started two indie books. Um, I feel like, kind of from issue to issue, they were just really throwing you around and like, in a good way. It's like, oh my god, I don't know what to expect next. And um, the only thing I'd have to say about the finale is, it for as kind of dark as this book was seeming to go for a little bit. Um, it kind of seemed to go on a, a bit of a too happy way out, I guess is a, is a good way to say it. I, I, there's one thing that I wished, and I can't say it without spoiling it. There's one thing I wish that happened. Oh, no. um, she put out an awful space. Yeah, she does that all the time. Come down, girl. Relax. Um, but anyway, there's kind of one thing I, I wish had happened, and they kind of brushed it off. And it was like, yeah, everything's, everything's good. I'm trying to get her out of your face. Come down. Come down. Lay down right there. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but I mean, regardless, still really like the series. There's really just kind of like one thing right at the end. I'm like, oh, come on. You couldn't have done that. And then we have Stuff of Nightmares, number three. It was uh, fun as always. Which continues to be just a bizarre, kind of campy... Uh, weird. I don't know. It's just weird yeah. little horror tale. Uh, and I like it. I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, I enjoy reading it every time, and uh, it's 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 pretty strange. But yeah, um, again, so I have the goosebumps theme stuck in my head right now. Yeah, goosebumps, but for a more mature audience, but not in a over the top way. You know, I I feel like a lot of times where it's like this thing you liked when you were a kid, but now it's for adults. I feel like this is if goose goosebumps could have gotten away with gore. Yeah, and. Uh, it feels very, um, what's the word? It, it it feels like it's staying true to its core, uh, and it's it's not like we can drop the f bomb now, and we you know it's just stupid stuff just to make it, you know, edgy or whatever. Like this is just okay. We can we can do blood now. You know, yeah. uh, I've been wanting to do blood. You know. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed that one. And then we have a new book, Once Upon a Time at the End of the World. You read this one? Yeah, this is the new Jason Aaron book. Um, and I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, the Definitely ending... An interesting ending there. Really threw me for a loop. Um, uh, I assume it's... Because uh, the ending has a big time jump. Yeah. And so I assume we're going to go through a couple issues... And then we're going to settle the time. See, I, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to d do how you said and then figure out at the end of the time jump what's going on. Or if, like, this whole issue was basically just, like, setting up and it's like, now we're going into the story. Um, I don't know. It, it definitely was pretty interesting, though, regardless. Um, I feel like uh, really only two characters introduced. Um, and I feel like they're they're both pretty well written and and uh, figured out, and uh, yeah, I I dug it. I thought the uh, the art was pretty neat, um, and the, like I said, the ending is is a pretty crazy little little tag on at the end there, and so definitely interested to see what's going on with that. Uh, again, I had I don't really have a clear idea of what's gonna happen in the future for that one, but I'm excited to find out. And then we have Eve, Children of the Moon, issue number two. So it's a follow-up series to Eve that came out last year or early this year. I can't remember. I think it was last year. Um, but yeah, uh, digging the series quite a bit. Um, so basically, to summarize it pretty shortly, uh, in, in the last series, Eve, um, they saved the world. And then, but still like the world, it's post-apocalyptic type thing. You know how it goes. Um... And so they're going around to these different little colonies or groups of survivors, you know, and uh, being like, hey, you know, the world's better. Let's uh, let's start repairing things. But the this group that they haven't been able to get into contact with is uh, 
proving hostile, but they have pretty interesting reasons to be hostile. It's not just like they're savage or anything like that. There's a, a personal reason. And uh, it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, maybe even a bit more than the last series, actually. And then some books I didn't read. We have Alpha Betas number two. Again, I was getting tired. Didn't get around to it. And uh, then this one was just a total cover by. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, Ranger Slayer here. Super, super awesome cover. Like that one a lot. And that is the end of our books for this week. So, as usual, uh, you know, anything that you're reading, whether it's something we have in our stack or something else, you know, if you want to talk about it in the comments down below, I'd love to. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think what else we got upcoming. I don't want to promise anything because, like I said, I'm still... It's very unusual for me to be sleeping much at all. Usually I get, like, five hours of sleep a day, and that is, like... And then just constant working, but I've I've been sleeping so much, and I, I do plan on on doing more things here. I have some things I want to talk about, and I've been wanting to do more shorts and and all kinds of stuff. So I've I've had some people, you know, be like, hey, you know, like what's going on? I, you know, been lack of videos, and it's like, yeah, yeah, I know, I'm just tired. <laughs> um, it's it, it's hard to keep up with when you're not feeling 100. percent But um, other than that, yeah, I guess you know, just join us during the stream. Uh, we got a couple channel members now, uh, so, you know, Hell yeah. uh, those who have become channel members, uh, will get Are to, cool. uh, they'll also get to use the, the emotes that we have set up, so those will be fun, cool. um, should have been last week, would have been the first stream with emotes, but it'll be this week. This week. Um. You'll be able to emote. And... Yeah, which, people have been leaving emotes on, on comments already, which have been fun. Um. And you should be a part of that Cool Kids Club. Uh, i trying to think if there's anything on the news. I don't know. That's all I got for you. Like I said, my brain's still kind of a little fried. But, you know, that's all we got for you. Just rambling. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next Bye, time. Bye, Ah. Ah.